Hey, what's going on everyone? This video will be providing you some uh, sample videos and pictures taken with the Hisense 07 Pro tablet. This is the $150 model, the Pro version. Uh, I'll be finding, providing some sample pictures and videos taken with the front cam, the rear cam, in bright lighting like you are seeing now, and low lighting situation later on. And as I mentioned in my video review, I, actually I'll, I'll put a link to my video review, a gaming demo I did with this tablet with high graphic games, and uh, I also made a comparison video against the Nexus 7 with this tablet. I'll put a link to all those videos in the description below. Just expand the description and you'll find all those video links there. Anyway, as I mentioned in my video review, this camera quality is terrible. To me, rear cameras on a tablet are useless, but it's just, it's just really, really bad. And the front-facing camera only records in 480p, sadly. So video chatting is possible, but video chatting, the person that's going to be seeing you, they're going to see you really in terrible quality because it is 480p front-facing cam. Uh, one strange thing is that the camera, this is the rear camera obviously, it seems like it's automatically zoomed in an additional 5 feet right off the bat. Whether you're taking pictures or videos, it's just too zoomed in for some bizarre reason. Now it is possible to zoom in, you have to pinch and zoom on the screen, let me demonstrate. That's 3.2x, let me go to maximum, 8x. It's digital zoom so that's why the, the quality sucks. But anyway, right off the bat, this is back to normal. For some reason, it's already zoomed in like an additional 4 or 5 feet. So if you plan to take a picture of somebody and you're up close, you might have to take a couple steps back. So let me switch over to the front-facing cam. Because this doesn't have the greatest camera in the world, there's not much to demonstrate. So let me switch to the front-facing cam now. Alright, so um, this is being recorded with the front-facing cam. The quality is not that great. Um, like on, my, on the tablet it looks okay but when I play it back on my computer monitor or TV it's a front facing cam you shouldn't expect much but it's not going to look that great uh, so what I'm going to do there's not much to really demonstrate for you guys I mean there's not much to show in the environment behind me is that showing up? Uh, pretty much kind of yeah alright so there's not much to show you it's a front facing cam so what I'm going to do now and yeah it does make my face look bigger than it actually is uh, what I'm going to do now is give you some sample pictures then I'm going to switch to uh, some sample pictures taken in very low light settings with a flash activating. And then a sample video taken also in low lighting situations. So let's go over to that now. Alright guys, so uh, the last uh, set of you know, segments you saw was basically pictures in good lighting situations and low lighting situation. And the last two pictures you'll, uh, you saw, one, uh, the first one was with no flash, and the second one was with flash. I'm talking about the last two pictures. The reason they look almost the same is because uh, I took it with you know, a lamp in the uh, picture. And essentially you get an idea that the flash, it, it does make a bit of a difference when it's pitch black as shown in some of the pictures, but with, you know, a background lighting situation with a lamp in the way, it doesn't really help that much. Uh, this is a tablet after all, so the flash is pretty, well, bad. But uh, yeah, when it's pitch black it does make a difference, but um, when there's lighting in the, in the picture, then it, it won't make much of a difference. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm recording a video for a low lighting test. Obviously where I'm standing right now is really bright. What I'm going to do now is turn off this light here. Okay, it's pitch black. And I'm going to make my way over there. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of try to describe what I can see. I, I don't know what you guys see right now, but on my screen it looks pitch black. Personally, I can see my own foosball table uh, pretty clearly, you know, enough to get around it. On the tablet it looks pitch black. Uh, you know, if that's what it looked like, with my own eyes, I would walk right into the foosball table. Right now, I'm looking at my bookshelf, my own eyes. Again, it's clear enough so I can see everything. 
I'm slowly make, making my way over to the better lighting situation. And right here, I don't know if you guys can see my hand. I can see where the armrest ends on my couch easily, no problem. But again, on the tablet, you, can just, you, you can't really see it at all. Maybe now it's just coming in right here. Uh, so, you know, as you would expect from a mo mobile device, um, the tablet is 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 off is awful. Uh, most mobile devices have terrible cameras. Uh, I don't care which cell phone you get, even the cameras are usually terrible. And I compare it to standalone cameras, so my standard is a bit higher actually. Um, so in low lighting situations, this tablet is awful. But again, it's a tablet, so don't expect much from it in the first place. If you want a good camera, buy a standalone camera. Don't rely on a cell phone or a tablet. But I hope this gives you guys a, uh, a good example of what to expect from you know this tablet in terms of cameras. I'm not gonna do a low lighting test with the front facing camera. There's no point. Uh, because if you're, ever, if you're ever video chatting, the lighting situation should be good in the first place. So I hope you guys found this use video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.